The snow is coming in through the ceiling. The wind is whipping through the hallways. The floors are exposed to the elements of the Ithaca winter. The Rose Inn burned and frozen at the same time. A massive fire destroyed the Rose Inn, a 25-room bed and breakfast. Standing on the charred floors, 20-year owner Charles Roseman. It's my own. It's something that I created from scratch. Standing since 1851 in Lansing, it's a registered historic building. It's a staple. Everybody who for the last, um, you know, 150-some years has driven on the highway there has seen it and has seen it uh, uh, grow. The famous spiral staircase, advertised proudly outside, reduced to a winding, charred crumple. There's no way to even recreate that because you couldn't find the wood and probably not the craftsmanship either. Hundreds of antiques inside were destroyed. This French sideboard survived over two centuries until it burned Friday night. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Behind me is what's left of the room that the fire started in. The wind was blowing that way, and that's why the other side of the house did not collapse. Inside the gift shop, which is still standing because of those winds, Roseman wants to pass along the charred remains of a cabinet to his daughter. I will do my darnest to see if it can be restored and give it to her. While that piece might be saved, the rest is a total loss. It will cost $5 million in insurance money to rebuild it. Right now, the staff works out of a makeshift office inside the restaurant. And the phone still rings. Oh, is it him? Are you ready? The ringing phone strengthens Roseman's desire to reopen one day. He is thankful that the inn is only a symbol of lost history rather than a loss of life. You know, when people ask me how do I feel, thank God nobody was injured, nobody was killed. You know, because that you cannot replace. This we can rebuild. Different, but it can be done. In Lansing, Evan Axelbank, Newswatch 16.